Mr. Fisher, when was the last time you saw your daughter before Miss Greenleaf violated the custody agreement? Uh, thanks, Gary. So you see her on the holidays? When Grace loves me, yeah. Um, she's all family I've got. Mr. Fisher, is it true that both you and Miss Greenleaf had a problem with drugs and alcohol in the past? I don't know if Grace would call it a problem, but I would. Um, alcohol for me, prescription drugs for her. Objection. My client already covered this in her testimony, and we established it was no longer sustained. But you're clean and sober now. For eight years, yeah. Congratulations. Best thing I ever did. Mr. Fisher, is there anything else you'd like to add? Anything else you'd like the court to consider? Yeah, just, um, yeah, obviously the facts are what they are. I'm not going to rehash all that. You mean that Miss Greenleaf knowingly violated the custody agreement and placed your daughter in the orbit of a known child molester? Objection. I'm just trying to clarify what Mr. Fisher means by the facts. That'll be enough, Mr. Kennedy. Yeah, uh, um, anyway, like I said, I, I don't want to, I'm over all that. I actually think that when it was all said and done, this was a really important wake-up call for all of, all of us. Me, anyway, big time. Um, and and I, I just, I, I want a chance to do a better job of honoring my side of the agreement and, and getting to know my daughter better going forward before she uh, goes off to college, which is just a few years away. That's all. That's a beautiful sentiment. No further questions, Your Honor.